Jesus, just lift up a hand. We celebrate you, sweet spirit of the living God. We salute you, son of the living God. We honor you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. O Shalamanda la Brodosa Karamanda, Librondo Lopra Kanda la Bosa Yade. We love you, Chief. If this is your power, if this is your glory, if this is your praise, then let it rain. Let it rain. If this is your power. Worship him if you love him. Let it rain all over me. Let it rain. Let it rain in this place. Let your spirit rain in this place. Let it rain all
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. May you reign in our businesses, oh God. Reign in our lives, oh God. Reign in our finances, oh God. Reign in our spiritual lives. Reign in our marital lives. Reign in our careers, oh God. Reign, oh God, in every area of our lives. Even in this ministry, may you reign, O oh God. Reign in the life of your prophet, O oh God. Reign in the lives of your people, O oh God. Reign in the spirit. Thank you, do without you Lord we cannot speak that which you have not ordered us to speak we cannot do nothing without you thank you Jesus thank you Lord we need you like never before we are desperate for you we are hungry and thirsty for you. You're the only pillar that we know. The only covenant keeping God that we know. The only sustainer that we have. The only way maker that we know. Oh, the uncreated creator that we know. The God who changes things. And yet himself does not change. The God who moves mountains. The God who has the capacity to change someone's life within a blink of an eye. We are desperate for you, O oh God. We are ready for you. We are thirsty for you. We are hungry for you. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. And every hour you are faithful. Oh, every day, every day, every day, and every hour, faithful. you are faithful. So faithful. Oh, every day.
Faithful God, we thank you. I surrender my all to you. Speak to us, O oh Lord. We are ready for you. In Jesus' name. Somebody who believes with me that we are ready, say amen. amen. Somebody who believes with me, say a better amen. amen. Somebody who believes with me, somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say a better amen. amen. Have your seats if you can. jealousy of your neighbor, just clap your hands. Can you clap your hands, somebody? Hallelujah. Don't you love to worship God? Isn't it just a refreshing moment? I don't do nothing without worshiping this God. I can't. It's impossible. Hallelujah. source of my strength. He's a source of my joy. And he's going to be the source of your life too. And I believe that in a few moments that we're going to be here, God has something for me and for you. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. God is about to announce your testimony. God is about to announce your testimony. You will sing that song. He has done. Great thing that will be 
your testimony. <laughs> he has done bread of me. man could do what no human being could do he's such a great God your time of your testimony has come there is another person here whose testimony is coming your testimony is coming your testimony has come I am here to announce somebody's testimony. I announce your testimony. I announce your testimony. Yeah, thank you, men of God. I receive. Mishama! <laughs> God just says, I must just announce people's testimonies. Oh! That one, that one. Those that I'm pointing at, I know what God is doing in their lives. Oh, yes. A bigger testimony concerning your career. Another testimony. I receive who? it. These ones, they look like bosses. They are. I receive. They are loaded. So. I receive it. They are equipped, these ones. I receive it. They don't need any testimony. I receive it. Major mouth. Power. Hey. Listen. Hey. 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 Somebody said Jesus. Jesus. Can, can I announce your testimonies? Oh, yes. Can I announce your testimonies? Oh, yes. If you need that testimony, I say amen. amen. There is something great that God is going to do in certain people's lives. Like you are among the people that God is about to lift. Your financial life changes from today. In the name of Jesus. I receive. I decree and I declare. I receive. Your life is having a turnaround just from today. I receive. It. Under the grace and the anointing of the prophet of this house. I receive. It. I decree and I declare over your life. I receive. It. Your story is turning around. And guess what? Hallelujah. Amen. Listen. God is about to give you the direct opposite of what you are having right now. I receive it. I said God is about to give you the direct opposite of what you're having right now. I life. receive it. Power. Listen. When I was coming here, I was busy meditating upon the word of the Lord. Oh. And God just whispered in my spirit as we were about to land. Oh. And the Lord said, listen to my instruction. And I was saying, God, I don't know what to tell your people. I don't know what to talk to them. Oh. I've been so busy. I've been so tired. I don't even know what to talk to them about. And the spirit of the Lord whispered to me and said, the first thing that you need to tell them is that the only moment you come to believe or to trust God is the moment when you don't have any other option. Oh. Now listen. What do I mean? People fail to fully trust in God. Simply because they have several options around them. And the Lord was speaking to me. He said, you need to push their minds. You need to encourage them not to have any other option. Amen. Not to have any other source yeah. of help. But let them look unto me. Yeah. Let them look at me as yeah. their source of help. Let them look at me as their source of strength. Yeah. Because if there is another option, you will not fully believe in this God. If you've got other options, you will not fully trust in this God. Except when you come to a point where you know and you believe that your help does not come from Israel, but your help comes.
comes from the Lord. Oh, and the word of the Lord came to me saying, Tell my people, let them not have several options, oh. but let them have their total belief. Oh. Let them have their total trust oh. in my promises, in my words, because I am their source of their lives. Oh. If you are a believer, say yeah. yes. Listen. Enough of you trusting people that promise you things. Uh -huh. Enough of me trusting people that I thought that could be there for me, uh -huh. and yet they were not there for me. Uh -huh. The people that I thought they would be there to strengthen me are the people that list stand by my side. Uh -huh. And the Lord said, it is not time and moment for you to believe in the people that are put around you. Uh -huh. It is time for you to believe in me because I know that I am the source of your life. Uh -huh. Sometimes I don't do certain things um, simply because um, you have put your trust in your bosses. Uh -huh. um, you have put your trust in the people uh -huh. around you. You have not put your totality in, in God. Uh -huh. Can I talk to somebody? Oh yes, Major Ma. Now listen, wait a moment. Somebody help me work on this because my voice is gone. So help me as much as you can. I receive it. Listen, it's about our totality. Giving our all to the Lord. Amen. Trusting with everything that is in us. Oh. Because if you, you listen to me. There are certain people who receive miracles within a blink of an eye. Listen, there are people who work around men of God. Most of the times that the people who least expect receive miracles. And guess what? The Lord was saying, remind your sons and daughters. Amen. Let them not believe in anybody. Amen. Some of you, you are saying, no, I'm waiting for my promotion just because you spoke to your boss. And you think maybe the dialogue that you had with your boss is the one that is going to bring your promotion. Uh -huh. And you might have been waiting for it. Months are passing. Weeks are passing. Years are passing. And nothing is coming forward. And guess what the law says? You trusted your boss. Maybe 75%. And you only trusted God. 25%. Pow. Now the Lord says, it is high time we go to a point where our trust and belief get centered on God alone. Amen. is about to happen. So I receive it. Okay, 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 okay. Have your seats. Let's do this. I got a few minutes to be with you, right? Hey, shaka tora mandala prokula zataya baba. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. And the word of the Lord came to me and said, the most powerful liberation weapon or the most powerful weapon that God has given us in the whole universe is the weapon of the word of God. In other words, his promises are the most powerful weapon that we can depend on, that we can stand on, that we can lean on, and they'll never change. Now, sometimes we get to a point where the word of God is not becoming true simply because our totality is not in the word. Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? Now, in this service, God wants to redeem us. 
And after redeeming us by his word, guess what is going to happen? He's going to reposition us far from any kind of oppression and depression. Amen. Oh. Wow. God says, I want to redeem my people. I want to deliver them. And after I deliver them, I want to restructure their position. I want to reposition them to a place or to a moment or to a position where they cannot be shaken anyhow. Amen. Where they cannot be stopped when they make a decision. Amen. Where they will not be questioned questions. But when they get to this position, there will be no longer oppression and depression. Somebody say, I am the liberated of the Lord. I am the liberated of the Lord. Somebody say, I am the liberated of the Lord. I am the liberated of the Lord. Somebody say, the Lord is liberating me tonight. The Lord is liberating me tonight. Listen. Matadada li prodoto sikatash. It is only about the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says in the book of Psalm 119, verse 130. Psalms 119, verse 130. The Bible says, the opening of thy words giveth light. It giveth understanding unto the simple. The opening of thy word gives, gives light. And it gives understanding into the simple. So it is the word of the Lord that brings understanding for you to understand what you're going through. Some people, they don't understand what they are going through because the word has not reached them. So it is only the word of the Lord that will bring an understanding why you are going through what you are going through. Can I talk to somebody here? Yes. Can I talk to somebody? Amen. I said, can I talk to somebody? Amen. Now listen. Do you think there is no God who looks at what you're going through? Do you think there is no God who sees everything about you? The word of the Lord says he never sleeps nor slumbers. He watches over Israel. He watches over his own day and night. In other words, he watches over you. He watches over your business. He watches even in your failure, even in the midst of your failures, even in the midst of your troubles, he still watches over you. Hmm. It is only his word that gives light. And guess what? Light comes with speed. Light separates Light comes with so much speed, with so much energy. And light comes with a kind of energy that is called kinetic energy. So when light comes, automatically darkness disappears. So if the word of God brings light, that means in the midst of what I am going through, people might have tried to encourage me. People might have tried to counsel me and nothing seems to be changing. And guess what? All I need, all I need is the word that can come and separate me. Shake somebody. Tell them I need the word. Hey, tell somebody. Say I need the word. I need the word. Some say I need the word. I need the word. Which is the light of God. Which is the light of God. The word that can separate me. The 
from my failures, from my stagnation, from my sickness, from my setback. Say, I need the word. I need the word. Sometimes you don't need many words. You just need one word. Amen. You don't need so many statements. You just need one statement. Now. Change does not come for people who are not ready to change. Change does not come for people who are not ready to change. Change comes for somebody who is desperate, who is ready for movement. And guess what? There are certain things we don't need to struggle anymore because the price was already paid on our behalf. And guess what happens when somebody takes you for shopping? It's not your responsibility to cut up for that bill. If somebody invites you for shopping, it means that the person who is inviting you is ready to cut up for every bill in that shopping that you're doing. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. In other words, it's not my responsibility to pay when you take me for shopping. Amen. It means you, by leaving your house to come to me to say, I want to take you for shopping. It means you made it and you already knew that you're the one to cut off for that bill. So there are certain things we don't need to suffer for in this life because our price was already paid by our Lord Jesus Christ. So in other words, it is just our moment to enjoy the benefits of this He paid the most highest price under the earth just for the sake of you and me. For the sake of you and I. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. 